Okay, so after all this work, this is the final product. I've got the engine is in. See, I cleaned out the compartment a little bit. Um, I've got springs, which are interestingly, these springs here, I needed much uh, uh, more rigid springs, and I actually wound up using springs that are for the the brakes, the drum brakes, and they work perfectly. So I had used some different springs that were way too, uh, just way too spongy. But now I don't need, I don't need a throttle cable spring because I have linkage springs. So anyway, I have that. This looks good in terms of my, I'm supposed to have, what, five eighths of an inch of push room there. I did the timing. product so let me start it up just so that you can hear it let's see I'll put this right up close here and start it up And there it is. So we've got 1968, so that's 92 millimeter uh, uh, pistons, and then uh, a 74 millimeter crank. It's got dual Weber carbs with 32 Venturis and 1.45 main, uh, main jets. And it's got super stock heads from uh, Greg and Steve Timms. And that is a 37 millimeter uh, uh, intake valve and a 32 exhaust valve. Um, then it has the performance um, Superflow muffler, which is uh, by uh, Vintage Speed. Um, I put on, let's see, that pretty much covers it. Um, you know, I did some other things in terms of upgrading this stand. It has a, a different uh, oil filler tube. Um, I put on the chrome uh, pulleys, both chrome. Um, this already had uh, electronic, uh, the electronic points there, or whatever you call it, electronic ignition. I put on a new fuel lines with a new fuel filter in there that um, is kind of a, uh, got 6AN um, connections, which is great because these fuel lines, and there it is. All right. All right, I just wanted to uh, do a final uh, showing of this motor. So, this is what we got. I put, I cleaned those uh, Weber carb air filters. I had to change these springs. You see these springs? These are really firm springs, extension springs that um, are actually from drum brakes, you see? I rigged that up. The other ones were too weak. Um, then I got cleaned up the engine compartment. There's already a little bit of residue by the carb, so I'm not sure what that is. I I put some uh, of these um, braided things around the uh, cable so they look better. Steel fuel cable there looks better. Um, got all this. Uh, Looking pretty good, I would say. So, um, what I can do here is uh, just start it up and I'll put the camera over here and I'll just start it up and see what it, uh, what it sounds like here. One quick start just for the video.